Boring breakdowns. What is the purpose of these spastic motions from Joe Frazier, and how does he use them to create openings against Ali throughout the fight? Frazier starts round one by setting the pace and setting the foundation for the rest of the fight. Now, let's look at Frazier's crouch and Ali's response. Off of the crouch, Ali is going to immediately try to meet Frazier with his rear hand, assuming there's something coming out of this crouch, some sort of attack. So he uses that rear hand as he backs up. Frazier again drops his level, drops his level, and Ali backs up. So Ali is constantly trying to keep this range, and this is a smart decision from Ali because, again, there is no telling what is going to come out of these crouches. Uh, uh, Frazier could hop up out of the crouch with a big left hook like we saw just there. Ali, being an intelligent athlete himself, is going to time Frazier's crouch. On this next crouch, Ali is going to meet him on that low level with a body shot. Let's watch again. As Frazier crouches, Ali throws a shot, again, which meets him at that low line. Notice here where Ali's rear glove is. This is going to become important in just a moment. Before we get to that, though, let's discuss how Frazier used the crouch in conjunction with short forward steps to close the distance on Ali. Here, we see Ali throwing the 1-2, and Frazier rolls his head underneath. Ali uses this range control to keep his distance. Frazier, again, back on his crouching game. Jab from Ali, Frazier crouches. Notice the short creeping steps forward we see another jab which Frazier parries and then he follows it again with a crouch what happens because he crouched and dipped in Ali is reacting by pulling his guard in just in case Frazier is trying to come out of the crouch with an attack and again we're taking note of these small steps Look at now the distance between Frazier and Ali, and Frazier is able to test with a couple jabs and start ripping the body of Ali. Now, we mentioned earlier that Ali tried to time his shot while Frazier was down in that crouched position. Let's look how calculating Frazier is in anticipating Ali's shot while he's crouched and acting appropriately. From here, Ali throws a jab cross. Frazier uses that right forearm guard as he crouches. Following this, he's going to crouch again, and Ali is going to time the shot while he's down. However, he doesn't crouch as low. He instead comes up to get away from that low shot and follows with a big left hand, which touches Ali and makes him tie Frazier up. Let's watch that whole sequence. 1-2, crouch, faint the crouch, and come up with that big left hand, which forces Ali to tie up Frazier. Now let's look at an example that combines the last two scenarios. Frazier is going to use his crouch and head movement in conjunction with his forward steps to get in on Ali. He's also going to land that big left shot. Let's watch. From here, Ali is keeping him at the end of the jab. Frazier dips and crouches, slipping inside Ali's jab. Notice he gets right back to this forward motion right here. Ali throws a right hand. Frazier dips underneath it, grazes him a tiny bit. Ali throws a left shot, which touches Frazier, but he dips again and gets in. Because of those constant forward stalking motions, Ali ties him up. Ali breaks, and then from here, he Frazier is going to crouch. Notice Ali is trying to throw this left shot to meet him in the crouch, but again, he did not crouch all the way down. He just used it as a spring to spring into this big left shot. Notice Ali missed his left hook, and Ali immediately has to tie Frazier up. Frazier may have started this fight out with some spastic looking motions, but again, there's a lot of manipulation, calculating movements, and calculating strategies behind it, as we can see here.
Thanks so much, guys. Boring Breakdowns.